My name is Kate Ham, and I am a senior program guide and blogger for the Ranch at Live Oak Malibu. Today we're going to go through the seven minute workout as put out recently in the American College of Sports Medicine May June issue. It's 12 exercises, 30 seconds of movement, 10 seconds of rest. So we're going to keep you moving, not a lot of time in between but it's gonna help you get the most bang for your time. So even if you're at traveling, you can get a short, fast workout in. Let's begin. The first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be 30 seconds of jumping jacks. I've got a timer set up, so whenever we hear a ding, we're gonna be alternating exercises. And we're gonna go, and now. So 30 seconds of jumping jacks. If this is a little too much for you, do side taps if the jumping bothers you. Otherwise, try to go for as hard as you can. Ultimately, all of these exercises on a scale of one to 10 should be at an eight. Keep moving. Remember to breathe. Maybe try to go a little bit faster. And pausing. So we're gonna get ready for the next exercise, which is a wall sit. You want to have your seat, your feet hip width apart. Back is going to be up against the wall. You're going to come down, making sure your knees are right over your ankles, and you're going to hold it here. If you want to add a bit of a chest stretch, you can try to open up your arms like this. Keep your bottom ribs pulling in. And breathe. You're going to feel those legs firing, the quads in particular. So remember the arms are optional, it's just for an extra stretch. And we're gonna come on up, next 30 seconds of push-ups. And it can be on your knees or on your toes. So one of the things about the exercise is we're alternating larger muscles and smaller muscles. Try to keep going as much as you can. Don't go and try to go down nice and deep. After that, crunches. If you have not, that's fine. Mine I put away. So with the crunches, you really want to keep space between your chin and your neck. Press your head back into your hands and really lift the shoulder blades up. Look up towards the sky, not between your feet. After this, step ups. So for this, you're going to want a chair. I have an ottoman, which is going to work for me. And what's good is to alternate your feet. Hmm. My head might be going out. That's okay, you get the idea. So by alternating feet, it means you're not gonna get just one leg working out. So every time you come down, use that bottom leg to switch. Done. Push that out of the side. Next is 10, uh, 30 seconds of squats. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward slightly off to the side. I'm going to reach my hands out. Really drive up with your glutes. And of course, remember to breathe. Really sit back like there's a chair. You don't quite know where it is behind you. And after this, we have tricep dips. So you're going to want your chair again. Hands on either side. Option. 
option A is to keep your knees bent, elbows go back. Option B is to straighten out your legs. So you're really using the back of the arms here. I always think no more bingo arms. So remember you can do the legs straight or knees bent. Knees bent is a little bit easier. Or you can alternate. You can be on your knees or on your toes. Remember, it's 30 seconds, so you want to challenge yourself for as hard as you can for the 30 seconds. Really keep your tailbone reaching down. Press back through your heels. Belly button pulling up. So this is giving my legs a bit of a break because the next one is going to be legs again. Final exercise. We're going to do this on both sides because it's a side plank. So you want to be on your side, on your elbow, right over your knee. You can start with your top leg on front, pressing the bottom leg up, or you can stack both feet on top of each other. Another option is to be up on your hand as well. Find whatever is right for you and hold it. You can keep your hand down if that's easier. I'm trying to make sure you have a nice straight line from your heels all the way to the crown of your head. Almost done here. One more exercise after this. Good. Come down. We'll swing, swing around. Get ready for the other side. So you can remember, shoulder or elbow right underneath your shoulder. Press up. And you can always take that top leg in front for a little bit more. Top hand can be up towards the sky, and you can even be up on that hand. Whatever you like. Whatever is the best version of side plank for you. Once we're done with this, that's round one. You can stop there or you can continue. Keep the bottom hip pressing up. Both shoulders sliding down your back. And that's it. We're done. Quick workout. Gets all the major muscle groups that you need to, your legs, your arms, your back, your chest. So in just a short period of time, you can get a great workout in. No excuses. 
This is Kate Han with the Rancho Live Oak Malibu. Thank you for joining me.